How's it going guys? Thanks for stopping by the channel. We're out in the field today with a new build I just completed. This is an old Schwinn High Plains chromoly lugged frame. You can see the lugs on the frame here. So that's an old school frame, probably 1989, 1990. It originally had a BioPace crank set on it. It was a three by seven, so it was 21 speeds. Um, I put a single crank on here. Actually, this is just a uh, what I picked up off of Amazon for about 36 bucks. I'll throw it in the link if you guys want to check it out. This one's by IRR, R I R O. Excuse me for that. It has a snail. Uh, this is a um, a narrow wide uh, crank on there, so it will accommodate uh, single speed in the front without plopping the chain off. A lot of times guys will try to use the existing chain rings and just use a chain tensioner or a chain guide on there. It doesn't always work out right. So I opted for this. Uh, this one got a new bottom bracket as well, as well as a chain, uh, new pedals. Uh, this one has uh, new shifters on it I purchased a while back. These are um, these are uh, micro shift shifters, seven speed. They work really good. It's my, in my opinion, just as good as the entry level rapid fires from Shimano. Uh, new brake levers, new grips. I got the snafu grips on there, kind of BMX style. But uh, it's looking pretty cool. Quick release front and rear. Went over the hubs uh, in both rear and front and repacked them, readjusted those, checked out for where everything looks to be good. Same thing with the headset. I've kind of created a Franken headset on here. I've got some parts from a silver one and parts from a black one, but I did replace the bearing cages in both. So those are fresh, ready to rock and roll. Install the kickstand on here. One of these frame mounted jobbies here so the bike will stand up if you're carrying any heavy loads. Uh, new brake calipers as well, guys. So these are just kind of knockoffs I got off of Amazon, but they work out really good. Nice upgrade from the caliper brakes that were on here. Uh, they had just the standard calipers on here. So it was nothing really too special back in the day, but uh, bike was probably about $400 back in its time. So I've kind of repurposed it now. I'm probably going to sell it, maybe ride it a little bit. It rides out really nice so far. Um, I got some CST Jet tires, a Chenching tire. Uh, pretty popular tires for entry level bikes. Uh, they're out there. See a lot of CSTs on different bikes. They make road tires, mountain tires, all kinds of different tires. These are kind of multi purpose, almost enduro type tires on here. But again, chromoly frame all the way through, not just the uh, rear triangle, but the front and the rear triangle are chromoly lugged frame. Uh, really nice, resilient ride. Uh, no front suspension, but you do have a chromoly fork. You guys that are so sticklers on, so particular about having a front suspension on a hardtail, haven't rid a properly adjusted chromoly hardtail. Uh, it's a different world. I am 60 years old and I will still ride a fully rigid bike on trails. And some of the trails I ride are a little on the gnarly side, some are not. But I can even take the gnarly stuff if you know how to balance your weight and you know how to actually handle the bike. But this is a good commuter bike for somebody out there that's looking to commute. Um, it does come with a bottle cage on the front here. And uh, it does come with uh, rack mounts in the rear and down here on the stays. So you can mount a rack on here if you wanted to or if you wanted to just put a seat post rack on, you can. Uh, new saddle on here too, Sal San Marco. It's just a cheapie, but offers a nice wide uh, wide sitting area there. Um, adjustable stem, and I converted this from a quill to a quill uh, adapter that would adapt onto a, a one and one eighth steer adjustable stem. Uh, this bike is set up right now for about five eight five nine, somebody around that height range. Um, also, all sorts of adjustments that can be made for the cockpit length. You can slide the slide the rails back here slide the seat back a little bit further you can flatten this out or just replace the stem with something a little longer it is kind of a shorty so that's pretty much it guys you can do this if you find bikes i found this bike uh i was actually delivering for instacart and a lady said hey i got some bikes out front know anybody that could use them this one came in it was not it was it was a mess the frame was good stripped it down built it up and this is the end result a nice commuter for somebody with gas at four dollars a gallon right about now nice commuter you guys got any questions put them down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps me out a lot if you want to see more bike videos like this if you want to actually see some of the how to's how i go about getting it from raw frame to this uh this uh configuration or this point 
uh, put it down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, there'll be more stuff coming um, as the summer progresses. Getting over some health issues still, guys. It's still bothering me, still still haunting me. I'm not going to get any details about that. I don't want no, you know, I'm no sympathy kind of guy. I just, it's fine. Uh, but this is the end result. Seven speed ready to go. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see in the future. Like and subscribe as always, guys. I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching the video. And God save the Republic.